In all of our previous examples and exercises, the reference marks for the element elements, which are arrows, and the voltages, which consist of our polarities of plus and minus, were given. When reference marks are not shown on the circuit diagram, they must be assigned by the person solving the problem. So one may wonder how to assign the reference marks when the actual voltage polarities and current directions are unknown. What's important to remember is that the reference marks do not show what is actually happening in the circuit. They are just benchmarks assigned at the beginning of the analysis. So if it turns out that the actual direction and the re reference direction agree, then the algebraic sign of the response will be positive. On the other hand, if they do disagree, the algebraic sign will be negative. In other words, the sign of the answer together with the assigned reference marks tells us the actual polarity or current direction. So let's use this example for assigning reference marks. So let's first label our voltage polarities which will govern our current direction. So in this case we have a plus and a minus so that's our V1 for this 50 ohm resistor we will have a plus and a minus and that's our V2 for our 200 ohm resistor we have a plus and a minus and that's our V3 we'll also label the polarities for our current sources, so plus and minus, we'll call that VA. Then we'll put a plus and a minus, that's our VC. And then we'll put a plus and a minus here, and that will be our VB. We'll also put nodes A here, nodes B here, and node C. We'll also put some loops. We'll call this loop 1 right here. And we'll call this loop 2 going through the 3 amp, the 200 ohm resistor, and the 100 ohm resistor. So we'll call that loop 2. Then loop 3 is going through this 50 ohm resistor to 200 ohm resistor and the VC or 5 amp current source. And that's how we're going to label our circuit and then we're going to apply our KVL, KCL equations as well as the element constraints which is basically Ohm's law. So we'll label our currents right here. I1, there's loop 3. This is I2, since the polarity is plus and minus there. And then I3, shown there. Alright, so 